New York against Jeff George in the silver and black. Then the Bengals, the Broncos, Elway and company host Cincy in a mile-high showdown. Or regional action, the NFL on NBC next Sunday at noon Eastern. Chiefs leading 22-16, but that blocked extra point could come back to hurt them. Pete Stojanovic had it blocked by Phil Hansen. And the lead six still plenty of time remaining. Time for the Buffalo Bills special teams to answer the Kansas City Chiefs in this battle. Holds at the four. And is taken out at the 25. Greg Minuski on the tackle. And let's take a look once again at that you know, block extra Bruce point. Bruce Smith gets a credit for a lot of things, but this time it's Phil Hansen right there in the middle of your screen. He just knifes in in between the left guard and the center, turns his body, and then lunges forward. A little bit of a low kick by Stanovich, but a great effort by Phil Hansen. You know, Bruce Smith has three and a half field goal blocks for his career. How do you block half of a field goal? Do you, like, slice the ball in half? Half goes over, half doesn't. Slightly tip it, but still has enough to get over. Somebody else hits it. I don't, I don't know. think that the second guy is responsible, but Bruce Smith lobbied for that half a block. <laughs> First and ten, Antoine Smith. Hit quickly, but he still gains a few. With Andre Reed out of the ball game, the, the threat on the outside is not as great. Eric Moles is going to now have to play and produce the type of plays that Andre Reed has, and Quinn Early has to continue to come up with the consistent play that he has so far in this ball game. But they really need a big play from Eric Moles in this ball game. Second and seven. Collins under pressure. Flips it off. He's got Lonnie Johnson. And Anthony Davis tracks him down. Again, Collins able to avoid the rush and get the pass off. Donnie Edwards should have had a sack. You know, the fact that they do not have Derrick Thomas almost presents more problems for the Buffalo Bills. When you watch the Kansas City Chiefs on film, blitz situations, you know that that man right there, Derrick Thomas, is going to be the guy who's coming. Today, Gunther Cunningham has a full deck of cards to work with in front of. One time, I'll give him a little Donnie Edwards. Another time, Anthony Davis. Another time, somebody else. And it's confused the Buffalo Bills to this point. A big third and three for Collins. Complete, and it's good for a first down up to the 36-yard line. Eric Moulds taken down by Donnie Edwards. And Thurman Thomas, who we saw limp off earlier, but looks okay there. Well, they're splitting time between Thurman Thomas and Antoine Smith. 50-50. You see Thurman kind of grimacing there a little bit. He's going to adjust the pads or, or maybe his knee braces. Maybe, maybe he's going to pump some air in his shoes so that he's ready to go back in the ball game when he gets the signal. Big third down play that time from Collins. Play fake. Collins intended for Reimersman. Terry Wood, the linebacker, on the coverage. And second down coming up. You know, you mentioned the heat, the humidity, and the tough thing now for the Buffalo Bills is they don't have that wide receiver rotation to go with. In the first half, if Andre Reid had gone deep, you can plug in. You can plug in Eric Moles. If Quinn Early goes deep on the other side, somebody else can come in. Now they're down to three wide receivers with Steve Tasker really only being the other receiver they have available. Big rush. Collins dumps it off. Antoine Smith with a nice catch, but hit hard and brought down from Jerome Woods. Jerome Woods makes a fantastic play. He beats the block of Reuben Brown and gets to the screening back. If he doesn't get there, it can be a big play. Here's Reuben Brown. You see him going out to block. Right there is a block that's missed. And he comes up with a great play by Jerome Woods. So another big third down. There's Eric Mould. And you got a little bit of jersey there on both sides. That's what fatigue will do to you to make you grab out for someone when you should be blocking. Third and eight. Collins fires. Incomplete. Mark McMillan once again. The intended receiver was Moles. You know, you see McMillan strutting around right there. That's a well-conditioned athlete. He's playing at a different speed than Eric Moles is, who is trying to get open on that route. I'm watching Eric Moles. And it almost looks like he has it in glide, where Eric McMillan 
He's used to guys coming after him. Five foot seven. You know you can't hide on the football field. Moles right off of his fingertips. If he accelerates through that ball, he's pulling away from McMillan. He's trying to glide into it and catch it and make it an easy catch. Chris Moore on to punt. Dana Hughes is back. Short kick. Hughes stays away from it. And Tim Tindale downs it at the 27. You want more NFL stuff? Well, the season extends to the World Wide Web on NFL.com, the league's official website. Visit NFL.com for all scores, stats, and, of course, complete roundup of this weekend's scores in action. You can chat live with some of the NFL's biggest stars. Any former stars, Mr. Lawson? Now, you, you know what the area code is on this, don't you? No. Nope. That, that's the WWW part. That's right. the area code. And this is actually the phone number. So I know you know nothing about computers, so I'm trying to break <laughs> it down for you. So you do that. You can get it up and just... You're an educational partner. I thank you for that. You know, you need to buy a computer. That would help. <laughs> Marcus Allen and the Chiefs holding on. Greg Hill gets up to about the 33-yard pickup. The, the elements of the game become very, very basic now. For the Kansas City Chiefs, it's run the football. The one thing that Marv Levy preaches for his team is to be able to run the football and to stop the run. Greg Hill, we talked about Thurman Thomas earlier. It's not the knees that go first, but the shoulders. You saw Hill at the tail end of that play. He delivered the blow into Thomas Smith deliver the blow with those shoulders and that's what starts to come unglued sometimes your tenth year like thomas sometimes your third or fourth year on great hill oh, and some pain there second and seventh go back to kimball anders anders scampers up to about the 34 yard line the third and short is coming up rice pop takes him down now your time remaining and the timeouts remaining bill still with all three but a critical third down situation here for the buffalo bills Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. You have to stop them here and then either call timeout immediately or let it go down to the two-minute warning. And that's what Marv Levy is discussing with his coaches. We make this stop. Do we call timeout? We get a stop then. When we get the ball, you get a stop also at the two-minute warning. But for Kansas City here, I don't run the football. I put the ball in the air and get it away from that front seven. Third and three. Greg Hill back in the game gets the call. Phil Hansen. Comes up big right there, and fourth down, Kansas City will have to punt. Well, I hate to disagree with coaches and say that you've made a bad call. We're going to have a timeout here by the Buffalo Bills. But right there, the Kansas City Chiefs, 12 seconds is the differential that, that would have run off the clock that they didn't get by throwing the football. You throw the football, you're away from those guys who are hard charging up the field, and you have a chance to get back in the ball game. Now it's in Buffalo's court. This is the sound of commitment. The planes, trucks, and people of UPS in action. Giving you more on-time delivery options than anybody else. Whether it's same day, overnight, two day, three day, ground, international. In other words, whatever you need to move your business. Thanks. UPS, moving at the speed of business. Louis Aguiar on the punt. And gets it off. Tasker, fair catch at the 33. And Buffalo will take over. They've got two timeouts remaining with two minutes and seven seconds. And they trail by six. How important now that blocked extra point. That could be enormous. Phil Hansen blocking Sianovich's extra point on the Chiefs' last touchdown. Obviously, the extra point looms big here. But the biggest factor for the Buffalo Bills is that they do not have Andre Reid available. With Andre Reid available, you can go with the three wide receiver formation and get things done. Right now, they have two tight ends, two wide receivers, one lone running back, Thurman Thomas. To me, it's up to Eric Moles to come up with the play that Andre Reid would normally make in this situation. Moles, last year's first-round pick. Collins throws. Reimersmer's got it and gets up to the 39, and we will have the two-minute warning. Bills trying for a last-second victory here at Kansas City. AT&T, it's all within your reach, presents of Lineman's Dreams. You know, this game would be a lot more fair if they just let me use my hands. Whenever I wanted, 
for as long as I wanted. But no, I'm the one guy on the field they asked to work with two God-given appendages tied behind his back. Come on, what do they think I'm gonna do? Hold someone or something? So? You have to let more folks know about us. Dad, we need a new location. Every band has a place. Now check this out. Dad, there's a space. See? This is our new location. This is the internet. Whoa. 475 people visited our gallery on our website last night. I told you, location is everything. Experience the art of doing business on the internet with the most powerful network in the world. It wasn't much of a gift shop. It wasn't much of a fire. It was pretty much everything to Joe and Linda. It was gone pretty fast. A small, bright dot in the night sky, then nothing. And by now, someone may be watching this and saying, not unkindly, but still saying it, who cares? So we just wanted to say, well, there's Joe, there's Linda, and there's us. Cigna, a business of caring. Get ready to jump for joy. This week, Third Rock moves to Wednesday with the awesome visual effects spectacular. Ah. And the following Wednesday, Third Rock premieres with Dick's new alien wife, Roseanne. My wife! Hi, honey, I'm home! Third Rock moves to Wednesday this week on NBC. Bruce Smith and the Bills defense sit now and watch and hope that the offense and get it in the end zone as they trail 22-16, two minutes remaining. Bills still with two timeouts left the ball at their own 38. And this crowd rising. Getting on their feet. Collins to Reamers, but in Kansas City territory at the 45. And James Hasty can't believe it that a big, slow, former quarterback at Michigan just caught a pass in front of me. Good hustle to get up to the line of scrimmage. Now the poise to get the correct play call. You don't have to rush here. You have plenty of time. 15-yard pickup that time. Again, they have two timeouts left. Collins, quick throw. Quinn Early's got it and gets out of bounds. At the 37-yard line, Dale Carter there in the coverage. And two quick strikes for Buffalo with 125 remaining and still the two timeouts left yeah but this is not a, a field goal drive three points does nothing for the buffalo bills here they have to start planning end zone and how do we get in the end zone it'll be interesting to see if kansas city will gamble right now the three-man pass rush there's one two guys coming the second guy darren anderson who came up with the big interception last week off of jeff george does a good job stopping Thurman Thomas right in his track. And a loss on the play. Clock continues to roll. Still a little over a minute. They're saving those two timeouts, obviously. Collins has to step up. Fires complete. Eric Moles. Why? And Moles stays Why? in bounds. Why? He stayed in bounds. Well, now's the time to burn a timeout. Not yet, though. 18-yard pickup. And there's Marv Levy. He's not yelling at his player. He's yelling at the official for not acknowledging Todd Collins earlier. We have a timeout. One timeout now remaining for the Bills. The ball is at the 22-yard line. One of the tough things about being very, very talented is you think that your talents outweigh making reasonable decisions. Right there, he makes the decision to try and cut back, gain yardage, where he could have easily gone out of bounds. If you're old and frail, you go out of bounds, <laughs> but when you're young and strong, you try and head upfield. He was less than a foot away from getting out of bounds, and now they're down to their final timeout. Marty Schottenheimer saw his offense march down the field in the final minute with no timeouts and beat the Raiders Monday night. You know, you think, well, could have gone out of bounds, but... You know, we call timeout instead. About six seconds burned off the clock there from when he could have stepped out of bounds to when they finally got the timeout call. That six seconds is one play. That's one play that the Buffalo Bills hope that they don't need to win this ballgame. The missed 
extra point by Stojanovic gives the Bills a chance to win it here in the final seconds. They've got 22 yards to get into the end zone. Collins hit, fires complete. Lonnie Johnson inside the 10 down to the 7. And, and Collins again. helmet flew off in the middle of the pile there. And Lonnie Johnson is really hurt. They've got Lonnie one Johnson's timeout remaining. His leg is not going at the proper angle. That right leg looks like it's broken. That is very scary to look at. As Johnson obviously in an awful lot of pain. Collins once again making an incredible play to get the pass off when it looked like he was going down. Bills call their final timeout. Both medical staffs are headed out on the field. This looks like a, a, a pretty serious injury. Todd Collins takes the ball. There's a lot of pressure up the middle. Great job. Corbin Lacina gets his helmet popped off there. The only way to get your helmet thrown off is if someone has their hands at your face. Lonnie Johnson comes back, heads up the field, and it's his right leg that they're attending to. See him stop, plant, and then he gets hit. Twist it around, it's, it's hard to tell exactly what happened. Jerome Woods has him down by the right ankle. You know, he, he's up. You know, I said it looked like a broken leg. It looked like that thing was going at an angle that a leg normally doesn't go at. And he was smacking on the turf. He was in a lot of pain. And but you've you seen him giving him instructions to his teammates now, imploring them to make this thing worth it, to culminate this drive with a touchdown. So now first and goal at the seventh. The Bills had to use their final timeout. There's 27 seconds remaining. Chiefs hoping that this extra point or the block extra point does not come back to Hawthorne. And Marty Schottenheimer was all the way down to the 10-yard line telling Mark McMillan, who's on the far side of the field, watch for the alley-oop pass. They're going to try and get one up over the top of you. Three wide receivers in the game as Tasker comes in. Collins' his first year as a starter. Looks to the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Quinn early. And Mark McMillan right there again. Mark McMillan realizes that he's a marked man. It came right after him on that play. Defended it well. The pressure doesn't stop there. Only six seconds, four seconds run off the clock that play. The Bills have time to run three more plays. Three shots at the end zone. Collins has to avoid getting sacked by the blitz. He has to get rid of the football. Second and goal just inside the eight. Collins rolls, looks back the other way, fires and throws it away. He was going to get sacked. Yeah, Tasker on that side of the field matched up against McMillan. Vaughn Booker with the pressure. You have to love watching McMillan after that play. He went over to the fans. They said, give me some, give me some. They can't come this way. He's got to wait two more plays. Third and goal. Just inside the eight-yard line. 18 seconds remaining. Buffalo is out of timeouts. Now, both for Mark Levy and Marty Schottenheimer, the headsets are off. No advice coming from upstairs on these plays. Thurman Thomas would be a good choice out the backfield here. Collins hit as he throws, goes up in the air. Nearly picked off by Dale Carter. But again, the pressure. Jerome Woods. Sometimes you can get a little too cute with your formations. No one's there to pick up the blitz. Thurman Thomas has to come from the outside to try and pick off Jerome Woods. He's a step late getting there. Woods all over Collins on that play. Collins trying to listen to the signal from the sideline. It comes down to this one last snap. 
fourth and goal at the seventh. This is the game right here. Collins fires, intercepted McMillan. And the Chiefs win. against Mac Miller tries a little out and then a hook back to the inside the ball thrown behind him the pressure on Todd Collins caused that interception they disrupted him they got in his face they knocked him down right up the middle Thurman Thomas has to pick up the blitzing lineman can't pick up the linebacker Troy Dumas from the outside and Dumas comes up with the big hit Gerback will kneel down, and the Chiefs will go to two and one. Defense three straight plays where Collins had absolutely no time to throw the football. Hooker, Woods, and Dumas were the key defensive plays. In fact, we have an unsportsmanlike penalty on the Buffalo Bills. You can understand their frustration. They felt as if Steve Tasker had been interfered with. Someone probably got a little too verbal with the officials on the sideline. There's Andre Reed hitting behind the crowd there. And you have to believe that if he's healthy, he makes a difference in this ball game. Reed not playing much in the second half with the heat exhaustion. And that does it. Kansas City Chiefs win their home opener. The defense does it without Derek Thomas. Hey, Wayne, where'd you get the slick tailgate off your table? I made it, Tom. I uh, welded some legs on an old tailgate. Man, we should sell these babies. We could be millionaires. <laughs>